Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you that thought that maybe Ubiquity was going to kill off the edge switch, that they didn't care about the edge switch, well, they are not killing it and it's not going anywhere. In fact, there is a brand new version of the Edge OS software that is available. So let's flip on over. And this was released today, eight hours ago. It is the Edge Max Edge Switch version 1.10.1. And you can see that the, the older version over there on the right-hand side was released a while ago. And they have upgraded the underlying operating system to take care of some bug fixes and some security things. Now, there are two different versions. There is the full-blown version, there's the light version. And if you run the light version, it limits the maximum VLANs from 4,093 to 255. That way, uh, you can save on uh, memory utilization. So, and they tell you right here, if you're not gonna have more than 255 VLANs, even if it's not a light switch, you might consider using the light firmware because it will probably run better. And a lot of places don't have 255 VLANs. So your mileage may vary, you may have more than that. Let's see here. So under the improvements, they updated the web UI and we're going to take a look at that here in a second. The ports now show the STP state. It's possible to change the management VLAN from the VLANs page and it has an inspector tool. So we will take a look at that. You can now change the username and password right from the UI. Strong password is now required, a minimum of 12 characters. SSH, the web server SSL cipher list, and the UISP application connector have all been updated. They did do some bug fixing, um, fixed a bug when changing the RSTP port. The priority in the UI does not affect the state. Fixed a bug when newly added lag ports was lost after a reboot, and then they fixed an occasional error when creating a new lag port and SSH is now disabled in the factory default config. So if this is a new switch and you upgrade it or you factory default it, it, it should disable SSH. Down here you can see that they provide the full blown version and the light version and all of the switches so far are here and they are supported, even ones that maybe you don't even use. Some of the comments down here said that they had problems with username and password. I did not have that problem. This person also didn't say if they were connecting to UISP, but I think that they were because they were trying to do the generate password, use the generate password, and that doesn't work. So something went wrong with that user's experience. Your mileage may vary. You might want to upgrade a non-production switch first, but let's take a look at the new UI. So if you've seen some of the other UI changes across the non-Unify gear, and even with the Unify gear, you can see how the look and feel of this is all starting to come together. So this is my Edge Switch 16 150 watt PoE. And you can see we are now on version 1.10.1. We can see that I've got ports down here with some traffic flowing. And I can highlight the port here. I can do the test cable from there. I can see the transmit and receive, but I can also inspect the traffic right from there. And we'll take a look at that here in just a second. So very refreshed UI. Here under the VLANs, we can um, create new VLANs. Still can't rename the default VLAN, and that's okay, but we can create the VLAN up here. The one thing that I'm not seeing is it said we could change the management VLAN from the uh, added the possibility to change the management VLAN from the VLANs page. And I'm not seeing that here. Not sure what happens if we click on there. Yeah, I can just change the name. So I'm not 100% sure where that's at. And maybe if we create a new VLAN. Does that give us that option? It doesn't. So I'm not sure 100% where that's at. Then we've got our settings page. So we've got our name, our IP address. Here's that management VLAN, whether we're running IP version 6. Now your backup, restore, reset, upgrade, locate, all of that is now up here 
on the top right hand side of the page. We've got our jumbo frames configuration. We've got our spanning tree configuration, UISP. Now I had a lot of this stuff set up on this switch before I upgraded and I had SSH enabled and you can see that it went ahead and kept my SSH enabled. We can select a remote log server there. Up here, uh, we can connect this to UISP. Here we can change the username and password and we can go to the legacy interface. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And then you've got your tools down here. So you got your Mac table, ping, discovery, and then you've got your traffic inspector. So to use that traffic inspector, what you need to do is you need to uh, select a port and then go to inspect traffic. And now it is going to show you all of the flows that it sees on that, that port. We still have the legacy interface here which you know I'm a fan of the legacy interface because they've exposed so many of the underlying things that you can do with the edge switches through the old UI. So the old UI is still here. The switch actually, and this could just be you know, the placebo effect, but this switch actually seems to be a little bit quicker. Uh, I'm not running the light firmware, but it does seem to be responding much better than it, than it used to, but everything is still here. So, Edge Max Edge Switch line appears to be still, and we knew it was. We've been using them. We've still been been deploying them. We use them for, for you know, installations all over the place. But for those of you who were, who were worried, here it is. The proof is in the pudding. Ubiquity has uh, told us publicly on their community that they are not getting rid of the Edge Max line. And we know that there is a release candidate for the edge router, which I'm waiting for the full blown 3.0 release before I release the rest of my ISP videos. So that's what the holdup is there, if you've been wondering. But a brand new OS with some up things upgraded under the hood and a brand new refreshed UI. So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact page right there on the front, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com. Share your knowledge, ask questions, help us build this community. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.